Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Jimmy's Virtual Diary, Access All Areas. And this time for the month of December, and what a year it's been, I can't believe it's nearly over already. As you might remember when I started the year, uh, when I even started doing these uh, video diaries, was it back in March. In fact, when I was living with a, uh, a girlfriend at the time, or an ex-girlfriend, um, in a little music room that we had, and since then, left there, going back to another house. And now I'm here in England uh, broadcasting these to you. What a weird year it's been uh, when I sort of think back to to everything. <laughs> um, but it's been amazing to share the journey with you guys and everyone has been watching in and tuning in. So what has December been for me? Well, uh, as you might remember, I went and recorded two brand new songs for you. And uh, they'll be coming up very soon. They're actually, I really like them. They're kind of on that do I turn you on sort of style. So if you're familiar with my back catalogue, uh, that will explain sort of where we're going with it. I also recorded a song back in Australia before I left. It took a long time because of lockdowns. I finally got that bit back mixed and mastered. In fact, by a Grammy award winning person who mastered before. Um, so that's fantastic. Uh, and now it'll be coming out for you guys very soon. That's really different. It's quite prog. I've just sort of built up like a, a, a choir section on my own vocally. So I've got to do a lot of the big multi-tracking, vocal multi-tracking that I've always wanted to do uh, and not always had the time to do. So that will also be coming out for you guys. So keep an eye. Three songs, so three new releases, bang, right at the beginning of next year, 2022. Uh, in other news, keep an eye out early in the year with shows as well. We're a bit unsure with the sort of the COVID situation here, so I'm not really booking at the moment. But I am looking into touring, so going through Europe and uh, England. And as I always say, America, just keep your eyes on. There's a little bit happening there out of America. Um, in other news, today as well, I got my second COVID vaccination jab. Now, whether you believe in them or you've had them or you don't believe in them, I I don't care. I'm I'm, I'm just a musician. Uh, I'm not here to preach my points of views, but uh, for what it's worth, I think it's a really important thing that we all do for going forward in the future and allowing shows to happen, and particularly with things like passports coming in in various places around the world. So, oh, and you might have seen the photo shoot I did, um, and all those photos have been coming up, so I thank you guys a lot for all the uh, love that those photos have been getting, um, and of course... Ricardo Sensi Media um, and the photos have been posted from the gig I did the other week uh, Joseph Clark Photography both brilliant lads of what they do uh, and Sheffield regulars and well known here so what comes next for me well probably have a relatively loud New Year's within the rules that we can um, but uh, Really, it's now planning forward for next year, trying to go and record some more songs to keep writing. I've been writing a lot recently, which has been great. And then uh, get out there, get back on the road. It's been a long couple of years. Um, so get on the road, get in the studio and, and give you guys a bit. But as I say, keep your eyes right here because new music is coming. And I've been listening to it a lot. And i got to say, I think it's pretty good. In other news, I hope you guys had a really, really, really wonderful Merry Christmas wherever you are in the world um, and, and got to celebrate it to the best you could with your families. Uh, I know for me, being a million miles away from, from my uh, direct family, it was all back in Australia. It was very quiet for me and a bit subdued, but it was still a great day. And I went to the pub and uh, celebrated Christmas Day at the pub with a pint, which I actually think is pretty perfect, if you ask me might become a tradition as well as watching Clint Eastwood sort of spaghetti westerns might make that a tradition so again hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas hope you have a very hope you had a very merry time and I hope you guys have a outrageous 2022 and have a very decadent and naughty New Year's Eve for me and uh, I'll see you guys sometime in January love you uh, thank you guys